Hurricane Irma now a Category 4 storm. As Kristen Holmes explains, while Irma's intensity has gone down, neighbors are not taking any chances. Florida is busy preparing for Hurricane Irma. Forecasters still aren't sure exactly where the storm will hit, but people in the Sunshine State are getting ready anyway. You might as well leave now while you have a chance, because when you dial 911, you will not get an answer. They're getting out however they can. Travelers stood in line for hours at airports, cars headed north, causing interstate backups and slowdowns, while drivers waited at gas stations, some of which ran out of fuel. Depending on Irma's path, the powerful storm could create one of the largest mass evacuations in U.S. history, with some six million residents of southern Florida potentially impacted. The urgency is spurred by the destruction Irma has wrought in the Caribbean. Irma shredding buildings, toppling cars, and leaving streets submerged in water. On island after island, survivors describing apocalyptic scenes. One of the oldest um, churches here in Anguilla, completely um, destroyed, uh, it, and it's a shell. It, it's just, it, the magnitude um, is just, it, it, it's, I keep saying incomprehensible because that's, that's what we're seeing on the ground. These stories in the aftermath of Harvey in Texas have the southeastern coast of the U.S. taking the storm very seriously.